Hi, everyone. It's me, Elma, from TwinsMommy.com. All right, so I'm going to be sharing with you how to do a tutorial for Tailwind, if you're new to Tailwind, right? Now, if you know that Pinterest has said that Board Booster is um, spam, so you need to stop doing Board Booster and start getting into Tailwind. Now, for a lot of bloggers, when you go and enroll into Tailwind, the platform looks really crazy and hard to understand. So I'm going to go through just a little bit and I'm going to show you how I set up my accounts for Tailwind. It might be different from other bloggers. They might use Tailwind a little bit differently than I do, but this has worked for me and I use it for all my other blogs. Okay, so let's get started. Let me just, let's try this. Okay. So this is when you log in, you are presented with your dashboard. Just going to close these. Okay. Um, and it just gives you um, some analytics. So it tells you in the last seven days how many followers, followers you gained and your total follower count, um, how many pins you're pinning and how many from the last seven days, and then um, the number of repins that you've had and the number of comments. Wow, I have a lot of comments. <laughs> I should probably not get notification for that and, and answer them. And that's what's so great about Tailwind is that Tailwind will tell you about those comments and you can view them and you can answer them. Um, so this is what you look at and you can get a nice little graph. And I don't particularly look at the um, at these metrics, but every once in a while you can. It, it just tells you how your pins are doing on Pinterest. Are your followers engaging with your pins? Um, do you see a high engagement score? Um, what is your engagement rate? Things like that. So it looks like I have a new 30 day high right now, which is nice. Um, I didn't know that. So going over here, let's go through. Um, I, these are all my different accounts. So we're going to do uh, my newest account, which I'm moving my freelance writing uh, blog. I was sharing with Twins Mommy or the other way around. I'm going to move that over to um, a new account, which I have. All right. So um, tribes is a feature that um, you can get started even if you don't use Tailwind. So you have tribes right there. Um, the publisher is where we're going to be working um, on right now. And um, I'm going to sh share with you how to create that, that schedule. Um, insights, again, this is more for um, understanding Pinterest and your um, profile on Pinterest. Um, so you can look at the board insights. So the group boards that you belong on and then the boards that you belong on, how are they doing? How are they performing? Right? So Pinterest will show you, or sorry, Tailwind will show you that. And again, I don't look at these analytics all too often, only if I um, am doing a new strategy for my, my pinning process, then I might look at the boards and see what the high virility score is, um, the high repins for that board are, an engagement score, things like that. Um, so you can group these. You can um, detick secret boards if you want to. You can detick your boards if you want to and just look at group boards and see well, which, which group boards are performing the best, right? And you can um, look at the, get just a, a view of the best boards and go from there if you want to. Okay. So that's nice. And, um, pin inspector again, I'm not going to go through all of Tailwind. I want to do sort of a tutorial of setting up Tailwind right now. So, um, when you have time, go through these, um, it's fun to look at what pin, uh, what Tailwind is offering and to help you with getting, um, your profile out there more and seen. Okay. So I'm going to go right now into my new account. And we're going to start from there. So it's completely new. And so for my strategy, for my um, Tailwind setup, what you need to begin with are um, a Pinterest account with um, and belonging to some group boards. Okay, so if you if you don't have a lot of group boards, that's okay. At least three to five you want to start with. Um, so you need to have some group boards for my strategy to work. I use Tailwind only to schedule my pins to group boards. 
occasionally to my own boards if the niche fits, okay? But I, I primarily use my Tailwind account just for group boards. And then I manually pin any new pins that I've created and any, just if I'm on the platform and I'm bored, then I'll, I'll do some manually, manual pinning at that time, okay? But my main strategy is using Tailwind. And uh, make sure to check in the description. I have, if you go through my link, you'll get um, a free trial. So that's awesome. Okay, so I have my boards, I have my account. So in Tailwind, what you wanna do first is set up your board lists. Okay, so that's under publisher and that's called uh, board lists. So this is how I use Tailwind. I create lists and then when I schedule my pins, I schedule based on the list. So think of them as topics that you have on your blog. So for, um, let's say for Twins Mommy, I have a list for uh, mom blog tips and I have a list for social media tips. And then I have a list for email marketing tips, okay? And under those lists are all the group boards associated with that topic. Now for this account, I mostly um, have freelance writing tips. So I'm just gonna create one main board right now. Okay, so you name the board what the topic is based on the groups and the boards that you have. Okay, so let's call this uh, freelance writing tips, okay? And then you just, in the beginning, the setup of this process might take about 20 minutes, okay? Because you have to set it all ready. But after you set up the your strategy, maintaining it is quite easy. It takes less than, I'd say, five minutes um, to set up your campaign for the next month or however long your campaign runs. And that's all based on how many group boards and how many pins you have. Okay, so let me just go through and um, add some, uh, let's see, freelance writing. So this one, we'll add that one. Uh, freelance writing is one. So I'm only adding the group boards here. Well, let's do solopreneur and work from home, okay? And okay, I just said one list, but let's let's create another one because I don't have many group boards here anyways. So let's do these as business tips. Okay, so I think I can group some of these as um, business tips. So here's business tips for freelancers. Careful sense business stuff. Um, entrepreneur, great. All right, so those are my two main lists that I've created, okay? So after you create the list and put all your group boards, like I said, you can put your own board. So if I wanted to, I'll, I can put, um, maybe I want to add some um, freelance work. That's my own board. And maybe I wanna add freelance writing for beginners, okay? So Tailwind is going to schedule my pins out to these group boards and my own boards. All right, so you can do that as well. But like I said, I primarily use these um, lists to put my group boards and on my other accounts, I have 50 plus group boards. All right, so like I said, in the beginning, it might take you a long time to add all those group boards. And what's handy is that when you, so let's say you set up your list and then Two weeks later, you want you start emailing um, group boards and ask to be a contributor. Once now, this is a, a not a hack, but a tip that you should remember. Once you are accepted to a group board on Pinterest, go immediately to Tailwind, go immediately to your boards list, put your cursor here, and it will um, it will have this little notification here, refresh board list. You press that and it will grab the newest group boards that you just added. If you wait too long, a couple days, um, it's not gonna work, I found that out. Um, so make sure you do that as soon as you um, are added to a new group board, go into your Tailwind, go to your board list and update your board list with those new group boards, okay? Alrighty, so we have our lists. Now we have to create our schedule. So let's go to schedule, let me, oh no, that's not where it is, it's right here. It's under your schedule. So, sorry, this is right here, your schedule. 
So we're going to go there and we're going to create our schedule. Now, um, how many pins should you pin in a day and what times? That's all based on your audience and when they hang out. What's great about Tailwind is that over time, it will suggest times for you. And those times are based on the highest um, engagement when your followers are on Pinterest. So, um, but that takes about a month or more to um, let Tailwind understand your profile, right? So in the beginning, you're gonna have to set the own times and your schedule. So for example, for this profile, I'm trying to attract freelancers and I'm assuming that they work during the day. So I'm gonna do most of my pinning at night and I'm gonna schedule most of my pinning at night. All right, so I'm gonna go to, let's say around seven. Um, Pinterest has said the best times is between eight and 10 o'clock. So um, that's when you wanna do the most of your, your pinning. Now, this is the process that will take the longest because unfortunately Tailwind doesn't have any like at all um, options. So you have to manually put each time slot and um, this is what will take the most time. So I'm just gonna add a few. For this account, I'll probably only do 20 at the most um, slots. So I'll just add a few here for now because you don't need to go through all of that process with me. <laughs> um, all right, a couple there. And you can leave the times that Tailwind has already suggested for you or not, it's up to you, but you can see that they're all in the evening. So that's nice. So we'll just add them at our times here. Okay. So just like that, if you want to erase a time, so you want to delete one, you just click on it and press the little um, trash button right there. And then press OK, and it's gone. OK, so that's how you set it up. You set it up for all of your days because you want to pin every day. Uh, Pinterest does say that you want to be consistent with your pinning and you want to space out your pins. So you don't want to have a schedule of 622, 623, 624, 625, right? So 620, 7 o'clock, 723, um, 745. So space it out um, during, during the time you're pinning. Okay, so we'll just do a couple more here. Use the same time. Okay, so we have that. So now that we have our board list set up and we have our weekly pinning schedule set up, now we're going to go and create our schedule. Now, another thing that you need is the Tailwind Chrome um, extensions. I don't think I have that set up here. Or do I? Let me check real quick. No. So just type in Tailwind Chrome extension. and pick that up. Okay. We're gonna add the extension. All right, there it is. I see it right there, awesome. Okay, so that was pretty easy. So once you get that on, now you can go to Pinterest and schedule your pins. And this is the way, like again, this is my process and this is what I do. There are other ways to schedule your pins on the Tailwind platform, um, but I like going into Pinterest because I'm already on Pinterest. I go to my main board where I put all my pins on. So you might have a best of your blog or your blogs board. So go to that board and you can schedule your pins. Um, if you excuse me one minute, I'm just going to check something real quick. So hold on. Okay. Hi. Alrighty, here we go. So here are my pins. And then you, you just press the Chrome extension. Hopefully it'll work. <laughs> All right, it's being a little finicky right now. I don't know why. Let 
Let me update this and see. Okay. All right, let's see. There we go. So once it changes your view, then you know you are in the Tailwind Chrome extension. So click on the pins that you want to um, schedule. Okay, so this is my most popular pin, so I want to get those out first. This is another popular one. Um, I want to promote that because that's an affiliate. This is a popular one. And again, I do about five to six different pins. That's a good one, and that's a good one. Okay, so I'm going to go to Scheduler. It'll open up a new window. And then right here, you just type in the board name. And so I'm going to put all of these in Business Tips because they all make sense. I'm going to actually put them all in Freelance Writing Tips. Okay, so let's say you have um, a pin that would do good for another board that you didn't have in that list. You just go to that pin here and you add that. So let's say I want to add this also to um, this board. Okay, so I'm just going to add it. Okay, and then there you go. You can from here go to schedule all. You can also, if you belong to tribes, add each one to tribes. Okay, and um, you can also use interval pinning, but again, that's not my strategy, so I don't use interval pinning, um, but you can also add that too if you wanted to. And interval pinning just um, drips each pin um, based on your schedule, so you can do that. But um, I like doing it this way, but there's a little bit, um, after you schedule everything, you have to go back to Tailwind and um, you have to change the, uh, the queue. I'll show you. So let's schedule all. Okay. So that's great. That's all set up. And I'm going to close that window and go to my Tailwind here. And I'm going to just refresh my scheduler and go to scheduled pins. So it's refreshed and now I have 61 scheduled pins. But if you go to it, you'll look that and see that Tailwind is, um, looks like it's spamming everything because it's doing the same pin over and over again. To fix this, so you can see, they're all going out on the same day, uh, you just shuffle your queue. So it's an extra little step. I don't mind doing that. It's very easy and very quick. So I shuffle it and there you go. So my campaign is going to run until Friday, June 22nd. And there you go. So from the 14th to the 22nd, I'm going to have 54 pins scheduled out to all my group boards. All right. So there you go. Um, and that's, that's as easy as that. Oops. All right. So I have no idea if uh, I have any questions or not. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Hi. So, uh, let me see. <laughs> okay, I see that. Now I can view my comments. Hi, everyone. So, if anyone has any questions about my strategy, just let me know. Um, like I said, I find that this strategy works the best. It doesn't take long. So after that campaign runs, all I have to do is go to Pinterest, click on the Chrome extension, pick my pins for that week and set it to my lists, go back to Tailwind and shuffle the queue. And that's it. So that takes me less than five minutes. And I might do that once a month. Um, and Tailwind is sharing my pins and growing my traffic. All right. So I hope that helps. Um, make sure to click on the link to get your own free Tailwind account. And if you have any questions after the, the live, then just post them in the thread and I'll get to them. All right, bye everyone. Mm -hmm. Okay.